all the star seeds and welcome back to my channel if you're new here be sure to subscribe to the channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back friend so as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail this is an aries um solar return reading happy solar return aries happy new year an astrological new year um happy spring happy all that good stuff um so before i get into the reading i just want to talk about aries energy period like just a little bit about uh just aries um so it's it, technically the first sign of um the zodiac um aries is the head aries is the ram um starting from you know the head uh the, as far as like the body um it has a lot to do with the head aries is ruled by the planet mars um which mars has a lot to do with um action um, a lot to do with like violence um think of like the color red um a little bit of fear things of that nature fire energy um just real like intense and really like go like driven type of energy you know um ready to go to war if need be type of thing um so that's what um aries is all about um, just think about like the head, you can be in hard headed, um, <laughs> being, uh, like the babies of the Zodiac, um, things of that nature. So I'm going to get right into the reading. Um, I feel like, um, you were kind of like at a battle with yourself, uh, before I started pulling cards, um, it was like overwhelmed, but like, I'm here. It's like, it was an overwhelming process to get to where I'm at. But I'm, sh but I've showed up and I've arrived. <laughs> so it's like you, you're, you're. It was a process. It was, a, it was a journey. It was a process. It was a lot. But you're here, um, and it's like uh, kind of like you're at battle with your higher self, um, just at battle like with your higher spirit, like not knowing, uh, knowing but not taking initiative to take the action to do the things that you need to do. Um, so let's get right into it. Starting off, we have the Ten of Swords. So that that's that overwhelming energy. Um, it was a lot of swords in this reading as well. Um, so that's it. That's just showing me um, that whatever you're trying to focus on, whatever you're trying to get out of this overwhelming energy, whatever you're moving into, um, cultivating, growing, um, things like that, you got to start speaking it. You gotta start speaking it. You gotta start writing. You gotta start uh, getting some air energy to flow to make things happen. So, Ten of Swords, you've been through a lot. <laughs> you've been through a lot um, through the past year, through the past month, through the past leading up until now, leading up until the season. It has been a lot, but it's like you've been taking everything head on. Um, a lot of cloudiness, a lot of um, sternness. Um, stubbornness as well that's i'm sorry the sternness and stubbornness as well just like taking things um head on but also not not taking the things that need to, that need to be taken in you know what i'm saying um not showing up for yourself not not balancing yourself out not um not really ascending or um doing everything that you need to do not being a chariot for yourself not doing your self-care not just kind of like in this ten of swords energy not wanting to do much um feeling like you didn't might not want to get up one in one day or might may not want to um do the things that you know you need to do but whether it be spiritually or you know just mental mental health type of things the normal things that you that you do to keep yourself going you haven't been doing that and, and showing up for yourself but it, now is the time to definitely do so so it's like you have the queen of swords and the page of swords kind of showing up for each kind of you know at bat with each other like okay girl you got to clear this fog you got to get it to get girl boy who you know whatever okay um, you got to clear this fog, you got to get it together and you got to show up for yourself because you have the power, you have the magic, you have this enlightenment, the chariot, um, seven. So it's time to, to clear all of that out the way and to show up for yourself. Okay. Um, 
and this is you <laughs> the emperor being being stubborn and hard-headed um and not uh not taking advice not doing the things that you know you need to do just kind of like okay yeah i hear you <laughs> i hear you i got you and then going in and doing something completely different or going falling right back into your ways um so with this it's causing five of wands energy with you and yourself it's always gonna be an uphill battle you're battling with yourself you're is it it's the climb it's the it's been a climb type of situation with you and your higher self and this this is what it, this is what it would it's been given this type of five five of wands energy transformation you're trying you've been trying to transform and get yourself out of this energy but you, with being stubborn and battling and going back and forth you haven't been able to do that and it's causing a wrap it's causing a fire within yourself um but not a good fire because it's it's not moving you anywhere you know it's more of a destruction type of thing so then we here we go again everything is fine it was it's been like a repeating cycle of destroy destru destruction everything is fine um and that left you in this eight of swords energy like okay now it's time for me to really sit <laughs> sit with myself and do what i really need to do this this aries energy is going to push you into that okay it's time to break the chains unclog the fog clear everything out sit with yourself and be real with yourself okay because the insecurities have been holding you back They've been making you feel like uh, being in this funk. The complacency has been holding you back, making you feel like you've been in this funk as well. Um, the lack of creativity. It has been a lot of mind fog. It's just been like real empty space, like real um, gray area, real foggy, real no sense of direction, real complacent, okay? No movement, no nothing. So... It's like, what you know, what, what's next? A lack of confidence. The, the confidence it wasn't, the confidence went away. Okay. Um, because in your mind, your mind fog is just not there. You're, you're really, we're, we're in this like stuck complacency uh, type of feeling. So some forgiveness needs to be done as well, just to get this lifted up off of you. And the gossip card, I'm looking at this as you need to start speaking more life into yourself, into your heart chakra as well. Um, and, and, and stop talking about, oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together and, and not being about it too. Yeah, putting some action behind your words as well. Um, the hangman has really been a real stagnant, complacent energy. For real leading up into this time because it's like what do i do and you knew exactly you know you knew and you know exactly what to do in the situation but you just haven't been applying the the things you know what i'm saying there hasn't been the application of it so we got the eight of swords and the eight of cups so once you were finally ready to sit with yourself journal talk to yourself um think things think things through and and let that open line of communication with you and spirit continue to flow it's like okay i got it all together i did my crying i did what i need to do i'm laying it out all out on the line eight of cups energy i'm done i'm getting myself out this cycle now i'm ready i'm ready to done i'm done being hard-headed i'm getting myself out this cycle now okay because um it was it's like a party's over type of energy there was you know there was a lot going on there was uh, some fulfillment here as far as like uh, in the love department, but also insecurities as well. And it's like in your mind, your mind wants to go back to this energy. Your mind wants to wants to go back to dealing with multiple people or, you know what I'm saying, uh, dealing with someone that may have hurt you as well. Um, Knight of Swords energy, like backtracking, but you're at battle again because spirit is like, no, you need to be in this night of uh pentacles type of energy you need to be not trying to not trying to go back into this fog but going into the light okay you need to be stepping into this light because right now yeah things are going to be a little hard it's going to be a little seven of pentacles energy you're going to have to wait on some things but at least you're going to be putting in the work and you're going to start to see things come in and then boom you're going to go from seven to ten 
and that's it. So, and then the magician, message from spirit, like that's it. That's all it takes. And it's a switch of the mindset and, a, and and then the action behind it. So as soon as you as soon as you have in your mind that you know what it is you need to do, you're going to break yourself out of this cycle. You're going to go ahead and do so and keep it pushing. Money is definitely coming in. Um, the, the coins, the um, earthly things, not, not just necessarily money, but the materials that you need to move forward in life and to do the things that you need to do are definitely going to come in and you're going to make it happen. You're going to go ahead and work your magic and, and release all of this stuff that you need to do and you're going to make it happen. Um, and this is your season to do so. So work your magic. Happy solar return, Aries. Um, thank you guys for watching. If this video resonated with you, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Also share it to all your social media platforms. Thank you guys. Bye.